guys welcome back to my channel I know I said I was gonna <laughs> get better at doing tutorials but I don't know it just takes so much to film this days but um, I'm here with another tutorial I recently got this palette from Morphe brushes I think it's the Jaclyn Hill um, favorite palette and I really really love this palette it has so many colors that you can work with and is very very spring summer friendly so that was what I was going for with this look today. I was initially going to do uh, nude lips because the eyes are very dramatic but I'm obsessed <laughs> with this ombre lip so I had to do it. Um, and I think this would be a really fun look to wear for summer. So if you want to see how I created this look, please keep watching. Alright guys, I'm starting with the MAC Pro Longwear um, paint pot and groundwork and I'm just putting that all over my eyelid with the uh, MAC 287 brush. I'm going over that with the MAC Pro Longwear concealer in NW45 and I'm just using that to um, give myself a nice clean base to work with. Using a large fluffy blending brush, I'm going in with this bright orange color from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just using that as a transition color. And I'm just blending that right into my crease area. I'm going over that with the plum, um, matte plum color, also from the palette. And since I'm going for really bright here, I'm just going over the orange with the um, plum, just to brighten it up a little bit. Now I'm going in with a um, warm dark brown and I'm just using the um, small tapered blending brush from Makeup Addiction to kind of start creating a crease line for myself and I'm just using that to deepen the crease a little bit more and I'm doing that right under the um, purple and orange and for my eyelid I'm using this bright champagne color and as you can see I'm just kind of sculpting up my eyelid trying to create almost kind of like a cut crease on the inner part of the eyes I'm going over that with the this bright um orange golden um, color from also from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm just putting that right on the ball of my eyelid and I'm slightly blending it with the champagne color so there are no harsh lines in between the two eyeshadows and for the outer crease I'm using this um, bright pink eyeshadow it's very shimmery and I'm just putting that right on the outer corner of my eyes I'm also blending that with the orange just a little bit. I'm going over that with the same um, plum that I used in my crease and I'm just using it to blend the colors together. Now, since the um, Jaclyn Hill doesn't have a black eyeshadow, I went over that in my crease with the corrupt um, eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. And I'm just blending that into my crease. And for my highlights, I'm using my favorite highlighter from Becca Cosmetics and Topaz. For my liner, I'm using this liquid liner from Ellie Splash Cosmetics. And how I do this is I draw the wing on both sides of the eyes and I just fill them in from the outer corner all the way in. And liquid liners can be a little bit tricky so I will take my time doing this and just take short strokes until you get your desired result. For my waterline, I'm using MAC Cosmetics um, Ico in the color Smolder 
and I'm just putting that right on my waterline and I'm extending it a little bit into my lower lash line just to make my eyes look a little bit bigger and I'm going over that with that same plum purple that I used in my crease and I'm just using a pencil brush to go right over the black for my lashes, I'm using Coco Lashes in number 201. And this was a little bit of a struggle, as always. I can never put lashes on myself, but I think I made it work in the end. And I'm going over that with my mascara from um, Benefit Cosmetics. They're real. And I'm just um, marrying both lashes together, the real and the false. And I got a little teary idea. <laughs> and I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't even know what song I was listening to. Anywho, I'm going back into my crease with the um, black eyeshadow from Makeup Cake just to deepen it and give it that really sharp, smoky look. I'm blending that again with the Makeup Addition um, Tapered Blending Brush. And moving to the lips, I am using Max. Um, I think it's the Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in the color Be Spoken For. I'm just outlining my lips. I'm going over that with the um, dose of color liquid lipstick in the color Bury Me. And I did a review on this or uh, um, when I was still doing my whole video, I talked about the dose of color liquid lipstick. And for the rest of the lips, I am using OCC Lip Tar in color Digitals and it's a really really bright pink it almost looks white so you need just a tad and I'm just using that to blend everything together to give me that nice um, light to dark ombre effect I don't know I'm smiling. <laughs> I'm going back with the um, MAC pencil and I am just filling in the edges. And I'm just cleaning my lips with the um, same concealer that I used on my eyelid. That's the Pro Longwear Concealer in NW45. And I am just cleaning the out outline of the lip just to make it look a little bit sharper and that always makes your lipstick look so much better and make sure to blend very well so you don't end up looking like you have a mustache <laughs> and that is the final look guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'm just feeling myself thank you so much for watching the tutorial I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned something and if you recreate this look please don't forget to tag me on Instagram and on Facebook my handle on Instagram is tylo underscore G T A I L O underscore G and my name on Facebook is Tisilo Lagbanger so thank you guys for watching thank you to all my new subscribers I am gonna get better I promise and um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.